Okay, so today is uh, Thursday, March 13th, and uh, this is the state of the framing in the basement, and uh, actually some, some good stuff here. Um, much to my surprise, you can see where the stairs are going to come down here, and we've cut a little bit of a hole, and this is actually a really nice development. Um, I was under the impression, you can see this double joist here, um, I was under the impression that the stairs were actually going to be here, um, which would have bifurcated this room fairly substantially. Um, as they sit right now, the stairs will come straight down an L towards the front of the house. Um, a really nice development in that I'm going to have this whole space here, and it's a little bit hard to see, uh, spin some light down here, but I'm going to have this whole space really here, all around as uh, one big room, so very, very nice development there. Um, storage is still going to be back behind this wall. You can see it's somewhat back there already. Um, door through to the storage area. Gas utility will be framed in. Uh, there will be a chase along here for to close in HVAC with some holes cut for ventilation in the basement, but these here and here will be turned up, patched, and actually put on the top side of the chase. Water utilities, which used to run roughly straight down here, have been removed, um, and gas main, which used to run roughly here, are all going to be removed and actually packed tight up here against uh, the chase for the HVAC, which is nice. So overall, a really positive development um, with the downstairs. Uh, as we spin the lights here a little bit, you can see a utility room that's going to be framed off of this corner here. This is wall's not stable yet, but um, roughly straight across is where we're going to start to have a, a, a pathway back to the back of the basement where, um, and you definitely can't see that very well, but back in the back where the, behind the steps here is, uh, is uh, the washer-dryer area. So uh, we're going to pass through roughly, feels about like a four-foot opening, um, so in here is all HVAC, hot water, uh, Cat5 telephone, and cable will come down here and we'll frame some sort of uh, junction box in here. This will also be storage, general storage. Actually in this area, and you can see um, there's some supply lines that are uh, kind of still hanging here, but uh, we'll have waste for the uh, for the powder room that's on the first floor, actually right up over this HVAC section, tucked back in the corner on the first floor. Um, so we'll have a bathroom. In here you can see the old spot where the toilet was. That's going to have to pull out a little bit further into the room this way, and a small pedestal sink here. Um, so that's really all that's happened down here, uh, other than, you know, everything's ripped out now. Stairs are the last things to come out, but they need access to egress at this point still. Uh, they will come out probably in the next couple days. Uh, this room is uh, washer, dryer, freezer. This really won't change a whole lot. But I will have a lot of nice room down here to build in a cordoned off uh, storage area. Probably thinking somewhere, I don't know, two feet left of the freezer on the ground here to, to this bulkhead, uh, which will be very nice. So that's, in a nutshell, uh, the basement. Really, really psyched about where the stairs are dropping down here. It's going to be a nice big room. Feels like it's going to be about 13 by, uh, feels like it's going to be about a 13 by 25 space, which is awfully nice.